Hello, my name is Sylvia Sakula and I am an elementary art teacher for Round Rock ISD, where for the past six years I've proudly served the students at Live Oak Elementary. Today I'm going to show you how to make five easy garden art projects, home-based art lessons using backyard materials. The garden materials I'm using today I found in my own backyard. First you want to find a bucket to collect your materials in. For a background, I use this old white pillowcase. Then start looking for a variety of shapes, colors, and form, like rocks, twigs, leafy greens, and flowers. The first lesson is a garden mandala. Using radial symmetry, create a mandala using the materials you found in your backyard. The art you create can be used for quiet reflection and meditation. Don't forget to take a picture and share it with your friends, family, and teacher. Second lesson is a rock sculpture. Create a rock sculpture using balance and friction. Here's a tip. Try to find flat rocks and make your sculpture as tall as you can before it falls down. Don't get discouraged. And when it does fall down, try again, again, and again. Be persistent and you will succeed. Our third lesson is a garden portrait collage. Create a portrait collage using your garden material. Here's a tip. Look for organic shapes that are similar to facial features. I start off by arranging the shape of the face, then I start adding hair, the eyes, the nose, petals for a mouth, and continue making the neck and the shoulders using the twigs. I follow with some more hair using the rose petals. Our fourth lesson is a garden spiral. Create a garden spiral using the materials you collected from your backyard. Here's a tip. Look for a variety of colors and textures. And don't forget to take a picture and share it with your friends, family, and teacher. Our last lesson is a garden message. Create a message using your garden material. Here's a tip. Look for organic shapes that look like letters. Like this message says, I love you. And of course, the always appreciated thank you.